the country I did my research on is Oman. Oman is a Middle Eastern country. The official language of Oman is standard Arabic, but they speak one or two different types of Arabic, as in Gulf Arabic and Amani Arabic. English is spoken, though, in business meetings, and it is the most commonly foreign language spoken. From what I have read and understood, um, Oman has male as a superior role. For example, men can have up to four wives, and their wives are completely okay with that arrangement. It's usually when you get married, you tend to pick from your father's side first, as in your first cousin from your father's side, and then it goes on to your mother's side and like your first cousin. So let's say if you're a man, you have your first wife and then your second and third and fourth wife, um, your other wives have to agree on as well and they must be your cousins. Um, also as a man, um, men usually don't discuss women. Uh, it is impolite and disrespectful and like it is considered to be prying into someone else's life if you discuss women. So women are not a topic of discussion between men. And also another topic you don't discuss is Israel. Um, not unlike um, Americans and many other people in the world, um, their conversations are very slow and thought out. And there are a lot of quiet moments that allow you to reflect on how to respond in an appropriate way. Not like here that you just say whatever comes out of your mouth, but they are apparent, um, it is custom to reflect before you speak because um, it's a very it's a very high context country. Everything is very specific and explained. And as for women, if you are a woman and you are traveling there, you are expected to just be conservative, wear long skirts, pants, um, shirts that cover your shoulders. Um, you don't have to wear a headscarf. Women there usually wear headscarves as a fashion statement. They just think it looks nice. When it comes to meetings and planning, like events and stuff like that. Um, it is okay to be a couple minutes late, but not that late. Just a couple minutes late is understandable. But if you have like an appointment in like a government department, you might be double booked, so therefore you have to wait a long period of time. And it is also okay to like cancel and rearrange meetings last minute. But since we are foreigners to their country, it'd be very disrespectful and unloyal and whatnot to be late so you would have to be punctual to show them loyalty and one interesting fact that i thought about that country was basically that men can have four wives and they're completely okay with that not just one or two but four